of mine everyone so it's our second day exploring here in Bacala if you watched the last video you remember that I mentioned about the problem with the lagoon at the moment because of all the rains they had last year that the colors changed it's kind of like a green color no longer the beautiful turquoise color in this part anyway but we found out that south of the lagoon is its normal color but the only way to get there is to do a boat tour so we decided to do a boat tour it's one of the common things to do anyway even when this part of the lagoon's the normal color everybody still does the the boat tour so we're just walking to the place now it's about a 30 minute walk from where we're staying and then we'll get on the on the boat it's actually a sailboat so this is gonna be our little sailboat I don't think we've ever done a tour on a sailboat, right? No, it's the first only time. a motorboat. Yeah. We stayed on a sailboat, but not, never done a tour. Yeah. Uh, here is for the shoes. Oh, okay. You can get up. Yeah. Yeah. So they got the the sail up. Guess we're gonna be heading out now. So keep in mind how the color is here. Apparently it's gonna change a lot down that way. Yeah, check this out. This is the crazy blue water that we came for. <laughs> so light. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's like a swimming pool. Here, no? What? It's very cool. Yeah, very blue. Yeah. I've never seen a lagoon like that. No, never. Never, no. Yeah. Not that color. Ready to get in? Yeah. Into the swimming pool? Swimming pool, yeah. Yeah. It looks like. Yeah, that is insane. I think it's clearer than I thought. I wonder if I can jump here. I don't think so. You said it's uh, not deep enough. <laughs> it's deep? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. So this guy said he's going to take a picture of us from up there. <laughs> he's climbed the, the mast. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely have never seen a lagoon this color. It looks like Isla Mujeres, yeah. the but, water. But that's a, a beach, a, an island, not a lake. Oh, yeah, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so the guy was telling me that 70% of the water comes from a cenote that's down south. I think it's called Shulha. And that's where all this nice clear water comes from. So in a few months, all the lagoon is gonna be this color, it's normal color. It's just like the, the water from the south, that cenote is gonna just be pushing up north and then gradually push out the, the murky green water. Yeah, I think we'll have to come back to see the whole lagoon. Yeah. yeah, that's why this place is famous because imagine an entire lagoon this color. Yeah, bizarre.
also asked him where the water from the cenote comes from and he said it comes from the mountains in Chiapas and uh, Oaxaca which I'm absolutely miles away so just crazy that this water comes all the way from over there So this tour also includes like some fruit, they have snacks and uh, drinks, yeah water and we're doing it with a company called Sail Bacala so I'll link in the description their website and Instagram if you'd like to do this kind of tour because yeah it's pretty awesome being on a sailboat out here. Oranges, mango right? Yeah, uh, banana, banana, apple, apple, pineapple. pineapple. So it's kind of cloudy now but even so water still looks an amazing color. I think they said they expect in a few weeks, right, all the lagoon to clear up. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they said that this part like a week ago was also murky green, so yeah, it's already back to its beautiful color. relaxing now. Yeah, it's slow, right? The sailboat goes so slow. Yeah. So I think we're going to be doing one more stop. So it's three stops overall. We actually thought we were just heading back now, but they asked if we wanted to swim in another area. It's like a little island in the lagoon. So yeah, we said, why not? And this isn't the normal tour, as I've been mentioning, because of the problem with the water and stuff. They'd usually go to other uh, attractions. I know there's a part where there's like a channel where pirates used to enter, and it's supposed to be incredible normally, but yeah, right now uh, the water's just not nice over there. See all the other little sailboats. There's loads of little sailboats around here actually. We're not the only ones. And that was the island I was talking about. Not sure what the name is. Still cold? <laughs> Alright, let's get in. Can you stand up? Yeah? <laughs> The ground's funny, right? Yeah. Sludgy.
come to a local spot to eat again, Mr. Taco. And we got four dead people joining us. <laughs> it's the day of the dead. That looks cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot as well. There's like artwork and stuff all over the place. What else have we got? We got like the masks, things like that. But we didn't come for tacos. No, or burritos. Burritos. We like the big one. Mr. and Mrs. Burrito. Yeah. So I got like a mushroom burrito. I think here we have like cheese, some sort of sauce on the rice. That's the mushrooms and uh, avocado. So yeah, extremely tasty. And you just got spinach and cream? Cream, yeah. yeah I look. think mine has corn as well. Oh yeah, I can see a corn there. It's good as well. Tasty, very tasty. Mexican food is just too good. So that meal ended up costing 220 pesos overall, so yeah, pretty good price. That's around five dollars each, I think. And now we're gonna go and pick up some laundry that we left two days ago. We tried to pick it up yesterday, but it was closed, so yeah, it should be open now. How much was all that? 60 pesos. For three kilos. Three kilos, yeah. If it was more than four kilos, we would pay, I think, 15 pesos per kilo. Okay. Yeah. That's like three dollars, a dollar per kilo almost. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very cheap. I think it's the price that we usually pay. Yeah, in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna show you quickly while we're walking home with the laundry some of the cool street art that's around this area. Even there, that's it's like Jaws. But literally every street has cool art. It's not like the crappy graffiti, it's proper art. way to the main square now we want to eat some of the stall food like some snacks or or sweets i think they usually set up when it's about to get dark and that's just about now we just left this uh, spot here that's one of the public access points to the lagoon there's only a few there isn't much to do there but yeah it just seemed like a place to relax really check that out more street art <laughs> literally is everywhere over here too what snack do you think you're gonna get? Marquesitas. Marquesitas. I think I'm gonna go with the churros. Churros. Yep. <laughs> so we ended up not entering this place, but this is actually one of the main attractions here. So it's an old Spanish fort from the 1700s. I think it costs $5 to enter. We've been spending so much money on attractions in this region that, yeah, we just decided to give it a miss. We also read that it's kind of small as well. Some of the reviews said that it wasn't really worth it for $5, but it does look pretty cool on the outside. I think there's like cannons and a museum there. So this is right on the main square. You can walk around it though from the outside. Listen to all these birds. Sunset time is always the bird time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the spot. Marquesitas. So hopefully you can hear us with all the crazy birds behind. But we ended up both getting marquesitas. They didn't have uh, the churros for me. And this is actually my first time eating this. Carol's eating it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so yours is with what? Uh, something like Nutella, but another brand and strawberries. Kind of inside. inside. Oh yeah. yeah. 
and I just got like chocolate sauce and bananas. And this is kind of like what, like a crepe waffle thing, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a waffle Very thing. thin. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, pretty big though. Look at the size of that. I think it was around 40 pesos each. Like two dollars each almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carol's favorite. That's pretty good. The banana and chocolate taste really nice. So that's going to be it for the videos here in Bacala. Tomorrow we're going to be heading to a place called Bayadolid. And that's a really cool place. We've actually been there before a long time ago. So looking forward to that. And Bacala has been our favorite place in this entire region, the state of Quintana Roo. Even with the problems with the color of the lagoon and everything, we still enjoyed it the most. Like it was more laid back and uh, I guess real. <laughs> a lot of the other places on the coast it's all just like big hotels and uh, very touristy and here's not. So when it's recovered we need to come back for sure and uh, yeah it's going to be even more awesome than we already think it is. So if you like this video drop a like as always to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this from Mexico. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.